take a look at it. I think it's funny. Do you want to pick? Está bien. Está bien. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Give me. And they asked if he wanted to stop stop going, and he said no. Through his wife, he will he will keep going. Are you, are you okay? You can see here. This is it's it's all Ortiz on offense. He scores with the body. He scores with a hook. He's like a windmill in there. See that right hand? I thought that hit his glove. Did it still knocked glove. him down. He's getting hit. There he is. He's getting hit on the way in and getting hit on the way out. So he has decided he wants to go on, and I, I don't believe they will go too far with this fight if that cut opens up again. Ariada not offering a lot of resistance. He only had five power punches land in that last round. Pretty brave because the out was there. He could have certainly said, I've had enough, or let his corner do it, and he didn't. Well, out of the mold of Argentine fighters, uh, some pretty tough guys have come out of Argentina. He's trying to stay away now and hope that that bleeding will, will slow down and stop and get back to his corner and then they'll, the corner will have another minute to work on that cut. Yeah, that kind of cut, it's usually a two or three round deal. Good move, veteran move. And Ortiz is not really pressing it. Every punch that Ortiz throws, though, Arietta almost flinches. Second warning for headbutting given to Arietta by Jane 80. So far, that cut has not reopened. Victor Ortiz is as good a young fighter as you've seen in quite some time. Yeah, very definitely. He's it's overstating it perhaps to say that you know boxing is always looking for the next golden boy, if you pardon the expression. And many people feel that we're watching him right here. The Golden Boy promotion signed him. Uh, he had been promoted by top rank and they had a falling out. This is actually his first fight uh, under Golden Boy. And that, that's what they believe. They believe this is a guy who can sort of take the mantle. Arietta just does not have a lot left. Takes a big right hand right there from Ortiz and a low blow. And now it goes through his knees, but they're going to say that's a slip, which it was. But Arietta, you, know, you can see he, he has begun to lose his legs. Yeah. He's taken a lot of abuse in this, in this fight. And he goes down again. And I think that may be all. That's it. It's over. Jane 80 wisely stops stop this that fight. Was a good stop. It's Absolutely. Look in his eyes. Absolutely. Arietta did not have anything left. A very impressive win for Victor Ortiz, and he takes that next step. Ortiz just 21 years of age. He has only the one loss, and that one was a questionable loss because it was a uh, technical loss, a disqualification. And an impressive performance for Victor Ortiz. Took his time, didn't rush things. Very impressive young guy. And a guy who has had a fight just to become a fighter. Very personable guy, as you can see. Talking about KU, talking about the Jayhawks, who got beat last night by South Florida on a field goal on the last play of the game. But uh, he's still their, their guy. Take a look at some of the numbers. Uh, the total punches, Ortiz through 237. That's 136 more, 116 more than Arietta. And landed almost three times as many punches. So a complete victory for Ortiz. Arietta really could not offer much in the way of resistance. Arietta not a big puncher, came in here, in here with only the 13 knockouts. And uh, Ortiz just simply came in and took care of business and got himself another W. And you have an idea he might step up to that next level the next time we see him here. But uh, he did everything he needed to do tonight. And he came away with an impressive win. Let's go to Michael Buffer, make it official, Mike.
Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, the official time, two minutes, 25 seconds, round number five. Referee calls a halt to the contest. The winner, and now he's the NABO Junior Welterweight Champion, Vicious Victor Ortiz. So Victor Ortiz uh, wearing the first of what he hopes will be many title belts. NABO belt is a belt rather is uh, pretty much of a stepping stone belt. Here's how he dominated the fight. I mean, he was the aggressor all through the fight. Sharp left hand right there. It came behind a right that was just a little bit short. Same combination the next time. Dropped him with a shot to the chest. There was the right hand that missed, and a left hand drove him into the ropes. Ortez in absolute control. That time he got him with the right hand. Here he hit him with the left hand first, then came with the right hand that actually caught him on the gloves and dropped him. And then the final knockout, and Arietta, believe me, wanted nothing else of Ortez. He was on wobbly legs when he got up, and Jay Nady continued to count, but then looked into his eyes and said, walk toward me, and properly stop the fight. So an impressive win for Victor Ortiz as he runs his record to 22 up and just one down. Let's go up the center of the ring. Ron Borges with Victor Ortiz. Well, we're having a party up here with Victor Ortiz. Victor has a tremendous performance here tonight. Obviously, the left hand was your, was your friend going into this fight, and you, you did exactly what you said you were going to do. Well, I just uh, took it round by round, you know. Uh, it was a surprise to me, you know. It was, uh, this opponent is tough. He's Argentinian, and uh, it's a Mexican holiday. He wants it just as bad as I do, and, uh, you know, I can just say that I'm very happy to take it home. Well, this is your first belt, and a lot of people, of course, feel that uh, you're the future of, of boxing, maybe the future of uh, Golden Boy Promotions. Going into this fight, what were you trying to do? What, what was your hopes? Obviously, you were planning on winning the title, but this was an overwhelming performance. Oh, yes, it's, it's very uh, overwhelming. But there's a saying that says, uh, you are your own worst critic. And tonight, I, I was my worst critic. I, I wasn't too happy with the performance, but you know what? He came to, to go to war with me, and, and thanks to the fans and showing me all that love, you know, uh, I pulled it off. Uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at a, 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 at the monitor here and the highlight of, of uh, the knockout. You explain to exactly what was going on at this point and what you were trying to accomplish. Well, uh, he was talking to me. He was actually talking to me and saying that he is the world champion and that I'm too young and that I won't be the champ. And I told him in the, the round that I dropped him, I said, you know, I'm the champ. There's no champ. You're not champ. I'm the champ. And then he's just like, no, 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 like talking to me. So I said, all right, baby. Time for you to go to bed, man. <laughs> uh, well, you, did, you, know, you certainly did, did your job here tonight. Victor, you, know, you have said a lot about, about boxing for you is about proving that you could accomplish something. A lot of people said you weren't or that you couldn't accomplish something, That's right. but you are going to. Uh, why is it that this sport seems to have grabbed you and given you this kind of opportunity? You know, this this sport is described as a, a poor for the or a sport for the poor. You know, and uh, that's exactly what I am. I mean, I, I didn't grow up with money. I, I didn't have any clothes, shoes, and and you know, thank God I have my brother on his feet and I have him on short short leashes. So uh, I have him doing well and myself. I, I really can't complain and. Uh, you know, I, I'm just very happy right now. It's inexplicable what I'm feeling right now. And, you know, I just uh, crossing my fingers for more of this to come. Right. Well, well, what do you think uh, after this? Where do you want to go? You're going to probably fight one more time before the end of the year. What kind of guy do you think you want to be in? Um, you know, I'll leave that up to my, my coaches, but the guys that I want to mention are pretty high profile right now. And uh, to just capture an NABO title and mention some names, that they would probably be a little nervous right now, but, you know, I'm not even going to say names. I, I'll just let time take its toll. And uh, with time, you know, vamos a ver quién es el campeón, you know? Right. Great performance. Barry?